One question I've seen online a lot lately is, what makes a good cigar? And you should be okay with asking questions like this because there's a lot of information out there on cigars. This is the bias guide, and I'm gonna let you know exactly what makes a good cigar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the bias guide. This is Vintage Cigar. I'm EKB with EKB TV. Thank you once again for tuning in. So what we're gonna talk about today is what makes a good cigar? That's a question I've been seeing quite a bit and it's a valid question and it's a very important question because if you're going into a brick and mortar or if you're shopping online, what are you looking for? Especially if you were new to cigars, where do you start? Where do you begin? There's so many different cigar brands out there that are fantastic. You have Illusione, you have Warped, Agonor Salif, My Father, the Flor Dominicana, we can keep going. But the important thing is, if you know what you're looking for and you know what's important, then you can just go, go off the checklist and find the best cigar that's gonna fit you. We know that it's subjective. We know that certain options aren't gonna match what your palate is, what your tastes are, compared to someone else. And that's okay, but at least you have a guide Something that can lead you in the right direction to find out what the best cigar option is going to be and the best choice to make when you're making your selection. So let's start with the first thing. The first thing is the appearance of a cigar. What are you looking for? So with the appearance of a cigar, the first thing that you're going to see is the wrapper. So that's where we should start. The wrapper on a cigar, there are so many different options out there. You have Colorado, Connecticut, Maduro. Oscuro, Habano, on and on with all of these different options. And this is a great thing. You can compare this to wine tasting where you have so many different grapes that are available to you out there. You have Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, Merlot. Each of these have a different taste that is gonna affect your palate differently and it's gonna appeal more. You have the white wines, the red wines, the dark wines, full body, light body. Look at your cigar the same way. So when you're looking at your wrapper, you want to see the different colors and get a taste for what your Habano is like, what a Corojo is like, what a Criollo is like, and try those different flavors. And that way you will know which cigar is gonna work for you. Now when you're looking at a wrapper, what makes a wrapper worthwhile? You have so many different components. You have modeling. What does the color on the cigar look like? Is it splotchy? Is it green in spots where it shouldn't be green? Is it dark in spots where it should be, shouldn't be dark? Some of that modeling with the color up there is perfect and it's exactly what you're looking for. Then there's tooth. And you can see these little bumps and knots all over your tobacco leaf and your wrapper, which is actually a good thing because they have oils, which leads to the next thing. How does your cigar look? Is it shiny? Is it dull? Is it matte? Does it have oils up there that is gonna provide some moisture to your cigar? Which leads into the next thing. You definitely want to have a moist cigar. You wanna have the proper humidity on it, so you want your cigar not to have cracks and breaks, and you definitely don't want holes because it could be cigar beetles. You wanna check for all those things. So if all of those things are in the right place, if it has the right feel to it, if it has the right touch, if it has the right smell, and your wrapper looks great, then you're on a good start. So the next thing you wanna look into is the humidity. So for your cigar, is it humidified properly? When you go into your humidor, do you have a proper humidor? Does the establishment that you're buying the cigar from have a proper humidor? You want it to be somewhere in the, the 62 to 72 range, maybe even a little higher, but you kind of want to have that habitable zone, kind of like the earth somewhere in your solar system. You want to be you know, revolving in the right section and you want to be in the right place. For me, I like my cigars at 68 to 69 degrees. Occasionally I will go a little bit higher than that, but you also want to have the proper feel to your cigar from there. You don't want your cigar to be too squishy or too crackly. You don't want it breaking and chipping and all that kind of stuff. If that is the case, you know your cigar is not at the right humidity, and when you're smoking it, you're gonna get the bad effects, like the cigar exploding, or cracking on you, ripping, falling apart, 
it just ruins the whole experience. If you can't have the good experience, why are you smoking the cigar? Next, your smoke output. How does this cigar smoke? You may see a lot of people commenting on Drew Estates and their cigars that as soon as you light it, it's letting off smoke from the foot. You're getting smoke output from the back of the cigar. But you also, when you're pulling the cigar, please don't inhale. Please. But when you're smoking your cigar, you want it to fill up your mouth. There's wispy cigars that the smoke is really light. There's full body cigars where you get the fullness in there and you get the textures on it. You may hear someone describe it as a chewy smoke. The, the smoke is so thick, you can almost feel like you're chewing on it. But that is an excellent thing because when you're smoking the cigar, you want to get the experience. You want a good experience of getting enveloped with the smoke. That leads into the creaminess of the cigar and the flow of the cigar, how it's burning, and the whole nine. It's very important to your construction of your cigar and the smoking experience. So that also leads me into, I mentioned the word body. Well, now I can do a whole video on this, just talking about the term body alone and how it applies to cigars. But for me, when I talk about body, I think about like hair, when you have you know a lot of body to your hair, you have a fullness and a thickness to it. That's what I refer to when I'm talking about the body of the cigar. But it can also refer to body being the flavor and how much flavor it's giving out for that cigar. And you will hear that terminology and it's a lot of debate on that. We'll talk about that a little bit further down the line. You do want good body. You do want a good fullness on the smoke. You don't want it to be too light or too wispy. Some may like that. Again, it's subjective and you know that's gonna be up to you. We're going from body talking about full body let's refer to that in the flavor profile because this may be the most important thing to your cigar how does your cigar taste and anyone who is getting into cigars you want to experience the flavor the taste just like you're tasting wine or if you're going out for a dinner and you're doing a food tasting whatever the case may be we shop with our eyes first but then we resolve everything with our taste buds so you want to be able to look for notes. And if your strength is strong enough as far as flavor, then you can taste the leather, the nuts, floral notes, it's the sweetness, honey, brown sugar, mint. You want to look for all of these different components to your cigar. Is it wood? What type of wood? Is it cedar? Is it oak? Is it mesquite? There's so many different things that you can look for and appeal to your palate and that is going to be the most important part for you because what flavors appeal to you and what are you looking for lastly as mentioned before all of this is subjective so the name of the game here is going out finding a cigar that works for you explore use these options that i just gave you earlier try them out see what works for you how does the cigar feel in your hand what is the vitola like what is the shape of that cigar? Does it smell good to you? Does it taste good to you? Buyer's Guide, we're gonna give you all the details that we can, and I'm gonna lead you to the best cigars possible. If you like this information, please like, please subscribe. I'm EKB with Vintage Cigar. You've watched the Buyer's Guide, and we're answering the question for you. What makes a good cigar? You guys stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace.